everyone, welcome back to my channel. So I'm currently in England at the moment and I'm gonna be heading back to Moscow next week by the way. But while I'm here, I thought I would show you around a normal English supermarket and talk about and compare an English supermarket with Russian supermarkets, just because I thought it would be quite interesting. So at the moment, I am at a shop called Tesco and it's a very popular shop. It's like Perogrostok in Russia. Um, and this is how big it is, but I'm just gonna head into the shop and Yeah, over here they have trolleys I know a lot of you are learning English at the moment and you'll probably learn the word shopping cart But this is actually an American word. So in England we call it a trolley as you can see here You don't actually have to put a coin to get these trolleys out Whereas some stores you have to just like in Russia you have to get trolleys out uh, with a coin so um, this is the car park right here it's quite big probably fits around a few hundred cars um, but I'm just gonna go in and grab a few things uh, just to show you around it's actually Friday at the moment around lunchtime it's like 1 p.m. so just if you're wondering in the UK we don't actually have to put masks on at the moment uh, you have the choice if you want to put it on or not, but every shop and every um, Restaurant and stuff can choose if they want people to wear masks, but I'm choosing not to wear a mask Because I just don't want to so I'm going to go into the shop without one today We'll see if anyone says anything they do recommend to wear one, but we'll have to see and because of COVID there are two like separate entrances so you have to like go out this one and come in here so uh, yeah, there's that. <laughs> so I'm just gonna get a basket just because I'm grabbing a few things. The shops actually changed quite a lot since I was last in England, so this was not here last time. But we've got some like ready made food. Uh, I love like Italian meats, like cold cuts, which we don't really have much of in Russia, but I love it. Uh, lots of olives and ready-made stuff, which is nice. And then right here, there are some flowers, lots of choices. I've seen some supermarkets in Russia have these, uh, but I don't think they have such a big choice. Like, I think these are quite beautiful bouquets. But a difference uh, from Russia to England is that there's lots of like small um, flower shops. Whereas here, we don't really have too many of them, and they are very expensive. In Russia, they're much less expensive but you can get like a nice bouquet of flowers for 15 pounds so that's around 1500 rubles uh, which is probably around the same price maybe you can get it a bit cheaper there lots of party things and magazines and newspapers um, as you can see they split it between kind of uh, different genres so they've got lots of kids magazines here uh, which actually thinking about it now they don't have it really in the Russian supermarkets I don't see many magazines like this when I go um, Lots more birthday things and here's like the ready-made food section so uh, you can get a meal deal I talked about this in my last me uh, video you can get a meal deal for three pounds in this specific shop so you can pick a drink and then pick like a sandwich and get a packet of crisps as well so they've got different like a selection of crisps and popcorn that you can get here um, obviously not the healthiest option I think in Russia they have healthier meal deals as I talk about you can go to a canteen and get a nice uh, healthy lunch but that is the option they have here here's like lots of books so as you can tell our supermarkets don't only just have food they have lots of other things too this is pretty good, like five pounds, so that's like 500 rubles for a book. I think that's actually a really good deal. And two for eight pounds, very good. Uh, lots of kids books as well. Uh, this is a bigger store than the ones I usually go to in Moscow. The ones near me are quite a bit smaller than this. I usually shop at Perdikostok um, and also, uh, I forgot the other one, but the, the shop that starts with a five. <laughs> Um, lots of birthday cards which is very useful because obviously when you go to a supermarket you just can come here collect um, whatever you need for the week if that's birthday stuff if that's food whatever um, here it is so the prices for 
um, birthday cards in this specific shop is 50p or at the, at the bottom it says one pound or less so these car birthday cards are one pound. I think they're really cute and you might be able to see that they have a different style than the ones in Russia. In Russia I think they're much more floral um, and lots of butterflies and that sort of stuff whereas here they have lots of like funny cards and much simpler designs as well. I think there's a, a little bit of a larger choice here and lots of kids cards as well. Here we move on to kind of, I don't know, car supplies and stuff. So you can get like fresheners for your car. Um, and here we have more birthday stuff. Didn't realize how much birthday stuff there was until <laughs> filming it. Uh, there's some stationery here too. So when you're going to school, you can come here and collect some stuff. You don't need to go to a separate store. The point of these supermarkets, so you just go to one place and you get everything. Um, some kids toys as well which is cute I'm kind of keeping an eye out because I need to, well I don't need to but I would like to get some kids toys for the kid I teach in Moscow because I'm going back and if you didn't know already I've actually quit my online teaching job and I'm just teaching this one kid who's two years old um, so yeah I'm just doing that when I go back and just YouTube too um, but yeah more kids toys and containers just like in fixed price um, they have these types of containers too a big price difference though in fixed price you can get these same containers for 50 rubles so like 50p whereas here there's six pounds so that's like 600 rubles so definitely more expensive but um, this is like the cheaper option in the UK more home stuff saucepans, cutlery, lots of machines as well. I've yet to go to a really, really big sh shop, like a big supermarket when I'm in Russia. Because as I said, there are only like the small ones there. Um, but yeah, really cute, um, different things for your house. So like mugs and plates and stuff. Um, the mum of the kid I actually teach really loves uh, like the bowls and mugs in the UK and her kid accidentally smashed a bowl and she was so sad it was from a different supermarket called M&S and she like bought loads of plates uh, when she visited the UK and yeah she was really sad when her kid smashed the bowl and I was like oh I can get you some and she was like it's okay I can order it because apparently you can order, I think it's very expensive, but you can order stuff from the supermarkets here to Russia. Can't imagine the price for the delivery, but there you go. Uh, also some DVDs as well. Um, these DVDs are £5, so like 500 rubles. Um, different sorts of stuff, games as well. I think a similar price and they would be in Russia. Uh, some printer stuff too. I never go this way in the supermarket. You never need this. I don't actually own a printer. I think I need to buy a printer when I'm in Russia because I've needed it for a few things, especially when you're teaching. You may want to print off some stuff and I just don't have a printer yet. Um, some phone cases too. Phone cases are £10. Oh, sorry, it's out of focus. I'm actually currently using my old camera. Uh, yeah, £10. So, like, 1,000 rubles and some more toys lots of toys <laughs> and this section always changes depending on which season it is so at the moment it's obviously summer so it's all like garden supplies stuff for like barbecues and that sort of stuff so um, uh, yeah they change that so if it was Christmas this would be all like Christmas decorations uh, there's also a phone shop so you can actually buy a phone at the supermarket. So as you know, the shop's called Tesco and you can buy phones from Tesco and have a contract with Tesco. And I don't know if actually Russia has that with the supermarkets too. Um, this is the vitamin aisle. Lots of clothes. So the supermarket actually have their own brand called F&F. &F. Uh, so yeah, basically this is the supermarket's clothes and it's quite cheap as well. Obviously not the best quality, but like this shirt here, 16 pounds, so 1,600 rubles. Um, and it has a big selection you can choose from. There's even children's clothes, so 
like 300 rubles for this kid's clothes. I'm not sure how much kid's clothes usually cost, but um, this would be much cheaper than a normal shop. Yeah, mostly summer clothes obviously at the moment, but it's a good option to come here, especially if you need something quickly. Um, lots of accessories too. Yeah, lots of options. It's, it's a good one if you're on a budget especially. Uh, so down here we have shampoos. I won't go down every single aisle. It's obviously quite a big shop as you can tell. Um, and we also have more soaps and stuff, baby stuff. I'll go through this quickly. Uh, now there is a huge bakery, just like there is in Russian supermarkets. Um, lots of different options. We like coming to this one specifically. We like um, this like olive bread, it's really nice. Sorry, my camera isn't focusing very well. Uh, but yeah, these are really tasty. And there's lots of different options like um, croissants and uh, pan au chocolat. So for two of these pan au chocolats, there's 120 rubles, so one pound 20. Um, a little bit more expensive, I think, or around actually the same price than in Russia for the pastries. And we've got all this bakery. So there's this one and this one. This is all bakery and bread. And um, yeah, so we've got naan bread like lots of different options compared to in russia like i love naan bread that's here it's like an indian style bread uh with i think garlic um and what else that do we not have in russia lots and lots of white loaves of bread i personally don't like eating this anymore since living in russia i just it's a bit fake for me but lots of tortillas as you might have seen in my one of my other videos, I do like cooking and making recipes with tortillas. Uh, pita bread. Ah, oh, this is a type of bread I haven't actually seen in Russia yet. Maybe, maybe you guys know where I can get it. But pita bread, it's like has a hole in the middle, and then you can put stuff in the middle, and it's a great option for like lunch, for sandwiches. There's lots of burger buns. Yeah, these. Are like factory made ones so 70 pace of like 70 rubles what else got eggs so uh, eggs are around the same price than in Russia so 79 piece for 79 rubles for these ones uh, but if you want to get like better quality ones you'd usually get these ones all the happy eggs are good too um, Got lots of spreads and stuff like jams and also honeys as well. <laughs> honeys over here. You can get quite expensive honey as well. Can't actually see it right the second, but I've seen honey for like I think 20 pounds or something, and it's like really ah here. Uh, thank you. <laughs> so yeah, look here, uh, 20 pounds for this honey and it's meant to be very very good quality. I personally haven't tried this one yet um, but it's always an option so you can go for a cheaper one like this one or this one, expensive one. Different types of spreads too, lots of peanut butter. I think the choice in Russia for peanut butter is very limited like you can get like a small tub like this size I think, literally this size and that's kind of it. You have like smooth and you have ones with bits in but here as you can see there are lots and lots of options from different companies. We've got some uh, biscuits and cakes here. And these are obviously factory made ones, whereas over there you can get ones that are made in the bakery. And pre-made cakes, 11 pounds, so that's like 1,100 rubles. Which I think is quite good. I actually think that might be cheaper than in Russia, to be honest. <laughs> Lots more cakes. Oh, these are very popular and they don't have it in Russia, but it's uh, hot crust buns. Usually you have it for Easter, but it's tasty like all year round. You can get like a loaf of raisin bread. It's really tasty. If you ever come here, I'd recommend getting a loaf of raisin bread. Crumpets, traditional English uh, thing. <laughs> you can basically put it in the toaster and put butter on it and it's very nice. It's a nice breakfast. 
Uh, so this pack of nine crumpets is one pound, so 100 rubles for nine crumpets. Let me know in the comments if you've ever tried crumpets and what you think of it. <laughs> okay, now we're moving on to like fresh produce. So here we have salad. On the side they usually have like discounted stuff, like here there will usually be stuff on sale. And they got some cute flowers as well. So here are mushrooms. Obviously a very popular thing in Russia because they grow everywhere, but here we don't really pick up mushrooms too much. I'm sure there are some people that go to forests and pick up mushrooms, but it's not as popular as in Russia. Um, so here are our choice. We literally only have like two choices. Well, three if you count those, but I don't know many people who pick those ones. Uh, shiitake mushrooms. So we have these white ones, closed cut mushrooms, and we have um, chestnut mushrooms, the brown ones, and that's kind of it, so not as fun. Um, yeah, we've got potatoes here. You can get um, sweet potatoes, these are very popular. These are not sweet potatoes though. Oh, sweet potatoes are actually loose over there. But yeah, lots of choices. We do love potatoes here. <laughs> And what else have we got? Uh, some aubergines. Again, if you're learning English, you're probably learning the American words, and in America they call it eggplant. But yeah, in the UK we call it aubergine. As you can see here, there are some people in my comments that love correcting um, my English and say, oh no, I thought it was like eggplant. I'm like, no, in England we use slightly different words. Um, on the other side, there's cabbages. Uh, huge things of spinach. This is something I don't see much of. Like, I found some spinach in Russia in the frozen aisle. But there isn't much fresh spinach. I really haven't come across it. Um, and here it's quite a good price too. Uh, kale is also a popular choice. We're getting more popular because of its health benefits. You can get like black kale, um, or you can get like pre-chopped curly kale. Lots of choices of kale and Brussels sprouts. I think this is quite a British thing, Brussels sprouts. Uh, they're basically like bulbs and they're kind of a little bit bitter. People usually just have them for Christmas. It's not a, it's not a very popular choice all year round. Um, got some more. Now moving on to fruits. I think they've just stacked up the bananas because <laughs> I haven't seen so many before. Uh, we'll say some dried fruits and nuts. Um, 100 rubles for these monkey nuts. They're basically just peanuts in the shell. <laughs> uh, Brazil nuts. I really love Brazil nuts, but haven't found any in Russia. Um, these are one pound, so 100 rubles. I think they're quite pricey, but I mean, you can get a good deal for it, like three for two. So you buy three of these packets for the price of two. So you basically get one for free. <laughs> so melons, watermelons. It's quite hard to find huge watermelons. You have to go to like certain markets to find big watermelons. Um, but you can get smaller watermelons like this. They're like the same size as my hand. So quite small. <laughs> and they cost two pound 10, like 210 rubles. Mangoes, yum. I think mangoes are cheaper in the UK than um, in Russia, but there you go. So actually when people say, oh, Russia's cheaper for everything, it's not actually true. You've got to compare the different things because some produce is much more uh, expensive in Russia than in the UK for various reasons. But lots of apples. I think it's apple season at the moment. So I'm same in Russia. Apples everywhere. You can even get them for free from your neighbors and stuff. A lot of people grow apple trees in their gardens here. Um, and then some more. I'll just go quickly through this one. So we've got grapes, lots of different types of grapes, um, and pre-made salads as well, which is a nice option. <laughs> um, so it's called a party salad. Quite simple, but there you are. Coleslaw. Um, coleslaw is like a nice English, I think it's an English salad. I think, I don't remember what you put in it. So you can just buy like a pre-made dressing, as it says here, and add it to the salad pack and have a nice made <laughs> salad. It's for lazy people, but there you go. I would choose it sometimes, to be fair. Tomato mozzarella. I think this is new. Yeah, it's new. Um, this looks quite nice, actually. 
and lots of options of dressings up there in case you don't want to mix your own. I personally make my own dressings but it's an option. Iceberg lettuce as well. I used to really love iceberg lettuce, I don't know why, it doesn't actually have any taste or flavour. Um, but it's just a plain tasting one. Radishes as well. See, we do eat radishes in the UK, but it's definitely not as popular as in Russia. Like, I love making radish salads with like sour cream, but that's not a very English thing. That's quite a Russian ingredient. Uh, people just don't know how to prepare it here, I think. That's the problem. So I'm actually going to be getting some avocados because it's one ingredient that I don't think um, Russia does very well. <laughs> I can never find good avocados and usually they're more expensive than this too. Uh, so yeah, I'm just getting some avocados. I like them on toast for breakfast. It's quite a British thing to do, quite British trendy breakfast. Uh, here we have some tomatoes. These are really nice. Same in Russia. I love these, um, I don't know, soup, they're called Sugar Bell. They're just quite sweet. Uh, that's pound fifty. Some more plants, lavender, nice smells lovely and you can buy some loose avocados too and beetroot as well 180 rubles so a pound 80 for it okay now moving on to like dairy um, it's actually funny because my grandma when she visited England she hated English dairy <laughs> so I'm gonna show you and if you're ever here you can taste it and let me know what you think of English dairy uh, but I personally like it. <laughs> Slightly different tasting than in Russia. We have a lot of like goat's cheese and stuff. Um, I don't know, I've heard that it's better for you. I don't know how true that is, but um, halloumi. This is a cheese that I haven't really seen much of in Russian grocery stores, but it's like a squeaky cheese and it's from uh, Cyprus and you like can grill it and it's really nice on salads and stuff. And that's two pounds here lots of dairy free options which is very popular in England right now I've seen in Russia they have a select like a small selection of dairy free options but here it's very popular like not only is there all of this dairy free milk but also dairy free yogurts uh, dairy free like hello uh, cheeses and like we just don't have this in Russia, you know. Um, I'm sure eventually it will come into the supermarkets, but at the moment, uh, we don't have this. Look, even vegan mayonnaise. Fun fact, I was actually vegan for five years, and back when I started, there was not this huge selection of um, dairy-free cheeses and yogurts, but now they have all sorts, which is great. It's even free from eggs as well, so. It really is made for vegans, <laughs> or if you have some sort of milk allergy. Um, but yeah, here is our dairy. We have like skimmed milk, which means there isn't a lot of fat. Semi skim milk and um, just full fat milk. So depending on how much fat you want in your milk, you can choose that. And yeah, full pints is, I think one, what's the price of this? Oh, here I think, uh, one pound, basically one pound. <laughs> for four pints I think oh no two pints sorry the labels are a bit messed up here I think but two pints and one pound 5p very precise <laughs> uh, here we have some like cream cheeses and cottage cheese which obviously is not Russian cottage cheese it's very different I don't know if you can even see it from the package but it's quite watery compared to uh, Russian uh, cottage cheese. Slightly the same texture, but kind of not as well. You know, a British take on uh, Tvorog. This is a very popular choice for parents to give their kids in their lunchbox. I used to love it. My mum would give it to me once a year. It was very <laughs> seldom, but basically you make your own sandwich in your lunchbox. So it's like a cracker, a bit of cheese, and like a little bit of chocolate. Back then we didn't have chocolate in there. Or you can even have this. Look, it's like a burrito with bread and pepperoni. Obviously it's not the best choice for your kids, in my personal opinion, but it's quite fun to have once in a while. They're one pound, so quite expensive for one kid's lunch, but um, yeah, 
on his Arribos. Got some butter, some dairy free butter, of course. Um, and I do need sour cream actually. Can you tell my mum is Russian just for the fact that I need sour cream because no one really buys sour cream here. I think it's usually up here, sour cream. I'm not sure where it is. Maybe they've actually run out, ironically. <laughs> I said no one buys it and they might have actually run out. Oh, well, that's a shame. I'll have to ask my mum later because she's actually shopping at the moment. I might bump into her, but obviously I'm going a different pace filming than her. Um, here, this is new. I haven't actually seen this before. It wasn't like this when I was last here. Lots of choices of cheeses, which is nice. Uh, this is actually something I probably miss most about living here the choices of cheeses and choices of like Cold cuts and stuff like that. I know we have it in Russia, but it's just not the same. It's not the same texture It's not the same taste like cooked ham so nice uh, What is this corned beef? I've actually never had corned beef, but I think it's a traditional English thing. I'm not sure But there you are Lots of ready-made things, like mixed peppers and olives, lots of choices of olives. Here's like the butcher's section, uh, so you can just like, just like in Russia, you just go and ask for what you want. Um, different types of meats here, as well as fish as well, it's all the same. Um, and then they weigh and tell you exactly how much it costs then and there. Okay. I think I missed one, which is yogurt. Yeah, I haven't been here. Because <laughs> this is more dairy, so actually the sour cream will probably be here. It used to be on the top of the milk, but not anymore. So we've got uh, lots of Greek yogurts. Greek yogurts, I think, is quite popular. I literally had it for breakfast this morning with some honey. Um, right, I'm not sure where the sour cream is. Oh, here we have kefir, which obviously is a Russian, um, it's a Russian ingredient or dish or whatever. Uh, but yeah, we have it. But this, these ones are flavored. I don't know, maybe because people don't like the plain kefir. So there is mango and passion fruit, and also blueberry, organic fermented yogurt. There you are. So we do have kefir, but it comes flavored. <laughs> I don't know how you feel about that, but there you are. Okay, so we also have more meats and like cold cuts and ready-made things. A lot of ready-made stuff compared to Russia. People, I think, just enjoy this type of thing here now. So we've got quiche, this is a popular dish. It's basically like a pastry on the outside and then egg in the middle and then you can have different fillings like here there's broccoli never seen broccoli in a quiche before to be honest or um, smoked bacon as well some different options Just whatever you like these are quite nice yogurts actually I love them as a kid because on the side I don't know how well you can see it but on one side of the yogurt there's like balls of like chocolate and then you can tip it into your flavoured yoghurt like the yoghurt's like strawberry flavoured or chocolate flavoured it's quite a fun thing uh, lots of choices of juices which haven't seen much of in Russia they just have a few very small bottles and they're usually really expensive I think I've seen Tropicana like very small bottles of Tropicana or Innocent and they're like 500 rubles or something but here you can get a big bottle. Let's have a look at how big the bottle is. 1.35 liters in this one for three pounds 60. So much better than in Russia, I think. And it's a very popular choice to have juice here too. They also have like healthier juices where you can get it with like, I don't know, added vitamins and uh, different like goji berries. Unusual things that make it sound healthier. <laughs> Some more ready-made stuff. Here we have burgers. Quite American, I think, these ones. Um, my dad's a fan, but obviously he's American, so I don't know how popular they are. I've never seen anyone really buy them, but there you are. They have like that kind of fake cheese in it. 
and some more yogurts. And these are nice too. We have them in Russia for Actimil. Oh yeah, an another difference between Russia and the UK is that in Russia people just like take as many as they want, right? They just go up to this and pull one out. But here if you did that, that would be really bad. You can't just buy individual bottles of Actimil or yogurt. So you have to buy a whole packet. Or you'd have to buy all of this. You literally just can't pull one out and pay for it. Only with these ones, as you can see, they are boxed so that you can buy them individually. But the rest, you have to buy the whole packet. So that is a difference. <laughs> um, here we have more ready-made meals. So we've had about two aisles of ready-made meals. Like literally people buy ready-made like carrots and peas, which I personally find quite funny, but there you are. <laughs> toes in the hole. This is I think quite a British dish actually. Toad in a hole. It's basically like a Yorkshire pudding, like a, I don't know, like a Yorkshire pudding. How do I even explain that? It basically looks like that with sausages in the middle. Bag is a mash. Uh, basically like a British term for mashed potato and sausages. Carbonara, look at all of that. You would not find this in Russia I don't think. <laughs> Look at all this, all of it is ready made, all of this. <laughs> I've never come across such a big choice in Russia. Uh, do correct me if I'm wrong in the comments by the way. There actually is like huge aisles of ready made meal in a specific shop, do let me know. But I shop at Pericross stock and I have yet to come across the stuff I'm talking about so that's why I'm saying it. Um, but yeah, look at these pizzas. As you guys know, I don't like Russian pizzas. Even these, I think, are better than Russian pizzas. Sorry, guys, but they're not frozen as well. In Russia, you only can find, well, I've only been able to find frozen ready-made pizzas. And here you can buy them, like, in the fridge aisle. Uh, people have um, pizzas with garlic bread here. So it's, like, butter in the bread with, obviously, garlic. It's quite nice to put it in the oven and it all melts. Lots of choices of ravioli and tortelloni. Um, and these are some, I think, vegan choices. Look, we have lots of choices of tofu and corn. Corn is like a company that makes like vegetarian and vegan dishes. Um, so here, these are all. These all don't have meat in. These and this is not real meat. And same here, we've got roasted tomato vegan quiche. Um, I really like this company actually, they, they actually gifted me a while back, like a few years back, some free soups and I made a video about it and I really like them, uh, they're really tasty because when I was at college I would just bring them to the house I was living at and just like microwave them and that was a good meal. I used to have these specifically, these are really tasty, uh, but yeah some healthier options for ready made food. Okay so next we have some, I can't even remember what's next, ah, meats. So we have bacon here. The bacon actually looks so different compared to in Russia, I think, because um, the bacon, I think it's quite brown in Russia. I personally don't like it. It's just really different from what I'm used to. Um, and I think it has way more fat. As you can see, there isn't much fat on this bacon. Whereas in Russia, it's like 90% fat, which I don't like. But each of their own, if you like that, you do you. <laughs> uh, some sausages as well. Pigs in blankets. This is, uh, I think, a traditional English thing. Uh, it's just little sausage, like cocktail sausages with bacon wrapped around called pigs in blankets. I think it's quite a cute name. <laughs> Lots of marinated meats here. Okay, let's compare the prices. Uh, of meats because this is something I always talk about <gasps> here's my favorite thing as you guys know I don't like Russian mince meat uh, and here is English mince meat my fave <laughs> so here uh, 750 grams is three pounds 69 so 369 rubles uh, for that much mince beef which is good you can even get ready-made meatballs if you don't want to roll them up yourself and here's some little dips and stuff. Like these are quite good if you're going for a picnic or you're going for a lunch, maybe to work or something. You could get hummus, and you can get two for two pounds, which is quite a good deal. They have different types of hummus too, like Moroccan yeah, style, caramelized onion, 
quite tasty. Different salads too. Coronation chicken pasta. Yeah, I like these, they're quite nice. Okay, still got a little bit more of the shop, but almost at the end. Uh, here we have lots of fish. I actually really enjoy fish in Russia. Something I do like. Um, but there is some specifically something I want to show you. And I don't know if it will be over here. But I'm going to talk about it anyway in case I don't find it. Oh, side note. Meat-free sausages, meat-free burgers. <laughs> something that Russia doesn't have much of is um, lamb. And that's because they like import it from New Zealand. So it makes it really expensive. And I don't think many people really eat much of it maybe you can buy it at the butchers i've yet to go to like a proper butchers and find it uh, but here it's a very very popular meat and lots of people have it but <laughs> i must have missed it in the last aisle but um yeah lamb is very popular meat and it's in so many dishes okay i've just passed by kind of the international section i guess you can buy like uh, pre-made sauces uh, for different dishes like Chinese dishes, Indian dishes um, and there's some more as well, Different, lots and lots of different options for international cooking because obviously the UK is very international and I don't know, shops want to provide for that. You can buy a lot of rice as well here. So this whole bag of 10 kilograms, 5 pounds, 500 rubles, pretty good. <laughs> got spices as well and herbs so as you can see here we don't have um, like jars of tomato puree we have like small tins and we have little tubes but no jars I always use a jar in Russia because I use a lot of tomato paste and I think it's in a, a lot of Russian recipes too which is why maybe they sell them in such big quantities got pre-made lentils and stuff and beans, much much less expensive than in Russia. Russia, they sell beans for like £1.50, so like 150 rubles, where here, like 55p, 55 rubles, so much better. Big choice of oils too. Typical sauces, the same. Um, we've got wines and stuff. I'll maybe show you a couple prices of wines in case you're interested. So we have... Prosecco, which is champagne. In Russia you call it Prosecco champagne, but here we say it's like different, like champagne is different than Prosecco, because champagne is made in the region of Champagne. Um, but yeah, in Russia you call it all the same thing, which is interesting, you didn't know that already. Um, right, where is the wine? Here, so, this is just an example, but six pounds for this bottle of wine. Um, so you can compare that to how much maybe you pay in Russia, seven pounds, eight pounds, so like this is like 700 rubles, 800 rubles. Um, so yeah, whole aisle for that. What else do we have? At the top you can read what each aisle has if you're ever stuck or if you ever quickly need something. But there is more alcohol down here and some more soft drinks. I don't really buy anything from here, so I won't bother pretty going down there. Got lots of chocolates. Let me try to find some British chocolates. Oh, that was easy. Here, these are some famous British chocolates. Uh, they basically like have mint in the middle and biscuits. So again, if you're learning English, you'll probably learn the word cookies, but in England we say biscuits. <laughs> uh, so let's find some British biscuits. Oh, I think rich tea. Rich tea are quite British. Um, these are quite plain tasting I quite like them they're good for like dipping in your tea which is why I think they are called rich tea <laughs> at this point I'm just making up facts <laughs> um, Cadbury's um, this is a popular brand what else <laughs> do you ask me any questions in the comments about anything to do with grocery stores I'll, I'll definitely know more about English stores than I do about Russian stores but um Jaffa cake's quite popular too. It's like kind of red jam in the middle. Um, you might have seen them. Snowballs, it's basically like a marshmallow in the middle and coconut chocolate on the outside. 
Okay, we have only a few aisles left. So I think the last few aisles are like home stuff and frozen food too. Uh, cereals as well. Oh, cereals. This is the thing that there isn't a very big selection of in Russia, but look at our aisle. This is all cereals, all the way to the end. Huge selection. Uh, special case, popular brand, it's like kind of advertised as a weight loss brand. Uh, bran flakes, shreddies. All of these are very popular. We love our cereals in the UK. It's like what we have for breakfast. Do let me know in the comment section what you have for breakfast. I'd love to know. Baked beans, very English thing to have for like a Sunday breakfast, like beans on toast, um, 85p. In Russia, I think there are like 100 rubles, I believe, so around the same price. We have some back to school clothes uh, because it's almost September, so everyone's shopping like back to school clothes. Now, the last few aisles, frozen stuff, so like ice creams. Lots of choices. Oh, they've even got sticky toffee pudding, which is a very, very, just from the name you can tell, it's a very, very sweet dessert um, that people love. Jam roly-poly, another very English dessert. Very sweet. <laughs> and some ice lollies. These are kind of the cheaper ice creams that you would get. Like these ice creams here have like a gumball at the bottom, one pound. Uh, some ice lollies, one pound, like a hundred rubles for these kind of cheaper priced ones. Lots of frozen things. Um, Yorkshire puddings, I talked about that earlier, but these are a, like a, one of the things you put on a Sunday lunch. So for Sunday lunches, we have Yorkshire puddings, uh, like roast meat, maybe like some roast beef, um, roasted vegetables, maybe like carrots and peas and some gravy and mashed potato maybe as well. Lots of frozen pizzas, we love frozen pizzas. Uh, so like £1.40 for a frozen pizza here. Yeah. I think that's a little bit cheaper than Russia. I think I've spent before like 300 rubles on a frozen pizza before. It wasn't very good. I wouldn't really go for frozen pizzas either way, but I didn't like it that much. What else? Yeah, more frozen ready-made stuff. Fish fingers. This is a popular choice. I haven't really seen in Russia, but it's just like, I forgot what fish is in the middle. I mean, these are chicken breasts, actually. So these are not even fish fingers. These are chicken fingers. These are fish fingers here. Um, so yeah, there's fish in the middle and then just breaded on the outside. And you just put them in the oven. And the last few, some toilet paper. Let's look at the price of toilet paper or kitchen paper. A toy kitchen towel never heard of anyone calling it kitchen towel before two pounds um, and toilet paper where even is it here nine pound 25 for 16 rolls actually no for 24 rolls that one specifically there you go people like to buy in bulk popular shop in the UK as well as America is Costco you can buy everything in huge quantities in bulk and it's usually cheaper that way um, and we have some pet food here too and clean filmed and foil and stuff like that I'm actually gonna go through the checkout I've just realized I've only got avocados but that's because I was meant to get sour cream and I couldn't buy sour cream <laughs> so I guess I'm just buying avocados um, but yeah the self checkout is the same as in Russia I've seen in Paracross stock they have it I usually don't go through them, I've yet to go through them. Mostly because I mostly because I'm scared that something's gonna go wrong and then I won't be able to understand what the machine says. Um, but it's easy this way I think for smaller items. Scan your club card to club card points. So I'm gonna pay with cash today. So these are the pound coins, by the way. Never seen it. There's the receipt. Thank you for shopping at Tesco. Most people bring their own bags just because in the UK recently they've started charging people to buy like plastic bags. I think it's like 5p per plastic bag. 
Uh, so yeah, it's just recommended that you bring your own bag and it cuts down on like plastic. Um, even though, even these avocados have plastic, everything has plastic, so I don't know. Little, every little helps and that's like the slogan of Tesco. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, there's a cafe upstairs and that's kind of the shop over here. Now I'm just going on the way out because as I said earlier, because of COVID, they've got to put two directions, even though there's some people going out that way. <laughs> So that is it for this video. I really hope you enjoyed getting a glimpse of inside like an English supermarket. If you did enjoy this video, give it a big thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already, as I post a new video every single Sunday about living and working in Russia. Obviously the past three weeks have been a little bit different because I've been away from Russia, but I am going back next week now. So everything will go back to normal very, very soon. And I'm also planning on doing some live streams as well, where I like um, learn Russian during my live streams and you guys can help me. So yeah, do make sure you're subscribed to see all of that. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you next Sunday. Bye.